In this video, I'm going to discuss the uh, parts of a CINAHL article citation. After doing a search, what you'll notice is you'll get a set of results or a set of articles such as you see before you. And when you're looking at this, this is just a partial um, view of the entire article citation. Of course, here you can see the title, you can see the authors, such as right here, as well as the journal and other stuff about the journal such as the publication year, the volume number, and the issue, and also the pages that this article might be on. But there is other information you might find of use to you. So if you want to see the full article citation, one of the things you can do is click on the title, and when you do so, you'll come to a page that looks like this. On this page, you'll still see the title, the author, as well as the journal or the source, and you'll see the abstract. But you'll also see here just above the abstract where it says major subjects and minor subjects. What these are are the CINAHL headings that have been assigned to this particular article, which then inform you as to what the article is exactly about. With the major subjects being the major topic of the paper, what its major focus is, and then the minor subjects being the secondary discussions that are involved in the paper. The reason these could be useful to you is one, it informs you what the article is about exactly, but it also could suggest to you terms that could either broaden your search to involve uh, more articles to help you in, um, come to a decision, or you may find a term here that you have not used that could be further uh, useful to you in focusing your search and giving you more relevant articles when you feel that the set of articles you have are not useful to you. Aside from this field of subject headings or the CINAHL headings, other things that you'll notice here is on the left again is the Get It VCU button and then over on the right you'll also notice that there's a toolbar. This toolbar can be useful for a couple things. One, you have the option by clicking on here on email of emailing this article citation to yourself if for some reason you don't have time to write it down or something like that or you would like to share it with a colleague. Um, you also have the option to export this citation. This option is especially useful when it comes to uh, using EndNote or RefWorks. And lastly you'll notice that you also have the option to print this citation as it is if for some reason you feel the uh, need to do that. And that is uh, the important parts I feel of a CINAHL um, article citation that you might find useful when utilizing the CINAHL database.